everybody and welcome, welcome, welcome to our conversation with Ali Duggan. I'm so excited to be having this conversation with Ali today. As you're joining us, please do say hello. Let us know in the comments that you're there. We can circle back and, and say hello. So we are shining the spotlight on our clients who have become Helix Method mentors. And today we are chatting with the fabulous Ali. Ali, do you want to introduce yourself, tell everybody who you are and, and what, what you do, how you help people? So I am very much a hybrid. So I have on the one side, that I am a performer, I am a speaker and I'm a writer. And I am now an advanced Helix Method mentor. And I love the balance of the two, the two things. Now, my background is largely in education and training and also with a background in mental health and careers coaching. And I blend that with all these new skills that I've learned about how to trust your intuition, how to bring back balance in, in your life. And I know firsthand what a difference this can make as I've overcome trauma and anxiety and every day is a journey. And I'd like this for you too oh love it Ali I love it um and as you said you you're you're right you have had your own experiences um with working with the helix method as well what was what was when you kind of look back because we've we go back we go way back worked together for a, a long time which has just been an absolute joy to contribute to you so as you kind of look back what was your reason for 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 doing the helix method for for you know becoming a mentor uh, this is quite interesting because I was thinking about this earlier. And the first thing I wrote down was to get out of my own way. <laughs> um, because I had been working in the education sector for nearly 20 years and I left in December 2021. So it's a huge shift for me. And I was still, I knew that wasn't the way, but I was still feeling what was the way. So I was delving into different bits. I'd always massively used this in my own life, but never really entertained uh, doing it with others, partly because I've, I'd had some, I was gonna say bad experience in the past, basically experiences due to wanting things to be perfect. And I couldn't really cope with getting things wrong. So the coaching world, I'm, I was sort of thinking, mm, I'm not quite sure that's, that's for me, but so anyway. <laughs> You put out a post or you reached out to me and it was basically a case that I just felt something. I felt something. I was like, hmm, I wonder, I wonder. So we hopped on a call and um, I was thinking, no, I'm not, I'm not too sure about this. And then everything I thought of, I thought, oh, but I can't do this because you were saying, oh, well, in this program, we do this, this, and this. Okay. So <laughs> that's that one not <laughs> off now. And then there was something else and you said it again. I'm like, okay, all right, I'm listening, I'm listening. <laughs> so I think we after that we hopped on another call and you said, have you got any more questions? And I basically said, Yeah, I've got more questions. I hadn't really got any questions. I was just looking for another <laughs> excuse to kind of go, there must be a reason why it's a no. There must be a reason why it's a no. I'm gonna find it. <laughs> Find, I'm going to find this reason that says no. <laughs> anyway, um, and I just, I remember sitting there thinking, ah, there is, I literally can't find a reason to say no. I can't find a reason to say no. Okay, let's just, you, you said, is there any more questions? I, no. Okay, let's just say yes. And I got off the call and my energy was amazing. I just got off the call. I had this inane grin on my face. It was like, I hadn't just said yes to the Helix method and, and mentoring. I said yes to myself mm. all those times where I didn't believe myself. I just, mm. it, it was just an amazing feeling just saying yes. Oh, do you know what? You're really making me smile as you're sharing how the resistance is coming up and how we can want to go down that path of, right, I'm going to say no to myself and I'm going to find all the reasons, all these thoughts that come up to kind of keep keep it the same, same rather than <laughs> moving forward. And the freedom that you felt as you made that, you know, an aligned decision for yourself, because it's really important to make an aligned decision. Yeah. And I also know, annoyingly, <laughs> how when the sway says yes, and you keep asking it a few times, and then it's still saying yes. And I, I do this magical thing. Basically, I do a releasing the resistance saying yes. And I release the resistance saying no. So just try and leave an open outcome. And 
when it's quite clearly and quite strongly, as you know, my sway, uh, is saying yes, it's it's just that thing where you, you don't have to think about the how or the why, you just know it's a yes. Mm. So, so important. And yeah, you've got a massive, a massive sway. <laughs> he, he would have thought when we first started working together. I know, I know. Oh, I love it. I love it. So te- te- tell everybody a little bit about, you know, your experience within the program, your experience of the training, because I think that's a question that can kind of come up for people um, as if they're in that space of um, considering it. Yeah, so when I when I delved into the program, I mean, I I really like the way that it's a mixture of like videos and worksheets and you've got the um, so if you learn best by by listening or watching, you've got that and you've got the text that's written down. Then you've got examples, you've got exercises, just the whole mix of that. But initially I was feeling not quite overwhelmed, but it was one of those things where oh, I don't know, I want to all, I want to know it all now and I can't do it all and I, 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 I don't understand this. I didn't like, I didn't like, the old me didn't used to like this, this not being an expert. I wasn't used to being an expert because when I was working in education for all that time, I was the expert. I knew what I was doing. People came to me. I was the expert. So that, that took a bit of getting used mm-hmm. to. But I, what I really, really loved was every time when you run the calls, and those people who um, bit too, bit afraid to ask a question, there was no need to feel stupid because we're all coming from different starting points. So for me, I knew about the sway, I knew about all that kind of thing. And then somebody else might have a different strength. So everybody was free to ask those questions in a very open and sharing way. And also as time goes on, you're you reveal a bit more about yourself, not not just the 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 actual practicalities of doing mm. the method but I should be, become more comfortable um yeah it's wonderful and working on practice partners I mean that was that was great because that meant I didn't have to be an expert from the beginning <laughs> it, was, <laughs> Yay! it was it was okay to it was okay to make mistakes it was okay mm. to be, be, be a bit clunky and the irony of all this was when I was following some of the scripted stuff thinking okay well I need to do it in this order because this is the order that Louise has done it and this is the order I need to do it and then I do a second session with somebody and I think when I kind of dropped the rule book and realized I did actually know this stuff and just listen to my intuition Mm. and energy was taking me that's when the magic really happened Mm. oh I love it I love it oh it's one of the things I always say is follow your intuition and that's one of the things I love seeing through everybody who's coming through the program how their intuition and their connection with their higher self has completely amplified um and the the clarity that you get from um being able to really listen and to follow the energy is just goes through the go goes through the roof which means then you're able to kind of follow the protocols you start to embody them but then also you can start to deviate and and um <laughs> blend protocols together which is perfect <laughs> what what I would say is a wonderful thing as well is because so we we had the opportunity to go through the everything twice so we went through it the first time and I was doing a mixture the first time some of it was me and myself and doing practicing and that but it's only when I got to the end of the second one that I felt more embodied in me mm. as a as a coach because as you reminded me we're always learning we always have stuff that comes up and there's no perfect time other than now yay I love it yeah that thank you for speaking to that so I do we we work together for a year as I always say to people is that you're ready to get going and working with clients within 60 days of of starting with the helix method and then you're fully supported for that year and that's really important to me so that because you learn when you're working with people that's when the real learning comes in and if there's a complex case then you I want people to have the support and have somewhere to come where they can you know talk talk about it and have guidance and to be able to you know know that they're moving forward in you know in a way that's best practice and And I I I just wanted to say as well if you're talking about complex cases (laughs) then I'm a great case study for complex (laughs) cases (laughs) um yeah which is which has enabled others to learn from me uh, doing when you've done practice sessions on other people as well that's been that's been really good you did a practice session with me where people could see at work which was absolutely wonderful but then I was participating and being an observer as well and likewise we could ask questions and realize that we all do know 
we all might approach it from a different way but we mm. all do know what we do yeah so so true um yeah so you have that opportunity so I will demonstrate and we'll ask people to raise their hand to be a, a volunteer as we dive into something that they want to work on so you can see how I would work and um, have that perspective of being able to be the observer and then within that going through the program the content twice because as Ali was mentioning that to me is really important because that's where you really embody it you know the amount of times when I'm learning something I won't just listen to a video once I will go over it over um you know multiple times so that I really understand it and um can, can contemplate it at, at that deeper deeper level you you mentioned around you know your own experience what kind of results have you had so far with clients I know you started started working with with people yeah this is what I always find fascinating because the old me would have thought okay this is a structure you do this and if they come to you with this issue then that's what you need to do but energy just, just doesn't work like that for example we had somebody who uh, came to me they were talking about um, decluttering they felt that was kind of holding them back at the uh, business as well and basically we ended up working on identity we completely shifted her identity so much so that she ended up embodied with I love the whole of me Oh. And I love that because it's taken me such a long time to get to that place. Mm, that's incredible. It is so important to follow the energy because also what can come in, people may be presenting with, I want to work on this, but actually it's the layer beneath that that they really want to work on. It's the, the first surface layer that they think is the, the issue, but we, we go deeper. We need to go deeper. Um, to be able to get that tell us a little bit more about some other ones. I know you were talking about um, you've had somebody that you help with money blocks. Yeah, so um, somebody came to me, it was like money money blocks around launching their business. And I realized it wasn't just around money blocks as well. There were lots of like emotional blocks which were presenting in their body as, as physical symptoms in their body. So we did a lot of work around that, releasing all those physical symptoms. And one of them in particular was around their energy. They basically said they were running on empty and I'm thinking, well, how can you launch do this new business launch if you're running on empty so we cleared some of the, the the physical blocks and we also rebalance what i what we call the the yin and yang so basically the the being energy and the doing energy to bring everything back into balance and i remember the message i got the next day just saying it was so wonderful saying i just feel absolutely buzzing i feel so light and what better place to launch your business from than there? Mm. Oh, I love it. Social magic. So how do you use the Helix method, you know, uh, currently in your personal life and in, and in your business? Well, if people have referred to me as a life magician, a manifesting queen, because let's just take you back five years ago when I met you, Louisa. Mm. I was a very very different person for anybody who doesn't know this part of my journey would you believe I suffered from chronic social anxiety for probably about 15 years mm. and I worked through that a lot of that with you I worked through uh, post-traumatic stress I worked through flashbacks and as I uncovered all those layers I just realized that this old version of me wasn't me it was the me inside the me who wants to perform and now it it just feels like I could pinch myself because you know now that I'm I'm um doing performing work I'm doing work as an actor I've appeared on a mental health uh, tv show I'm going to be a regular guest and presenter on a mental health tv show I've made mental health short films I've done speaking, I've written books. So who is this person who was so <laughs> anxious and shy and tried to fit in with everybody else and couldn't do this and couldn't do that? And that's that's the reason I stayed in my job for nearly 20 years because I was very good at it. It was nice, it was secure, it was steady, it was stable, but inside it was, I was literally soul destroying. Mm. 
you've become more who, of who you truly are, Ali. It's just been an absolute joy to see, um, to see everything that you've achieved over these last five years. It is just phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. And yeah, I'm so excited because there's more to come. I know there's more to come. <laughs> I mean, with your business now, what's what does this all mean for your business? Well, I've been le leaning more into this. So at the moment, I'm doing one-to-one -one work. I usually offer um, different different packages so one of them might be like a short three three session package uh, that could maybe just be an, a, an energetic shift if you're looking more at an energetic and an actual physical shift as in you know launching something being a speaker something like that then I would suggest uh, you know six to nine sessions to go into that because people might think oh in three sessions I'll, I'll have I'll have done everything and then I can I can launch what I need to do or I can do this speech or I can do that but we all know that actually those first three sessions will be more on the energetics around that around clearing um around clearing that I, I literally had another client who we realized it was it was like chains it was like and it, the, the heaviness felt like energetic chains around her well again how are you going to move forward if you've got these really strong things holding mm. you down pushing you back so for me it's all about integrity so at the moment I am leaning in more towards programs in the future but at the moment for me, it's one-to-one -one sessions. I feel that's where my heart lies. Mm. So I'm working on the creativity behind the scenes. I'm working on a program that's all around uh, chakras and rebalancing. A lot of my work is around, it's rebalancing the in and the out of the yin and the yang, the chakras. I'm very much into that. I do sound healing. That's another method I use for myself. And I sometimes uh, introduce that into my sessions with people as well. And and it's a wonderful it's a wonderful tool to add into the mix as well. That's so exciting. I love it. I love it. So just to wrap up, Ali, thank you so much for, for sharing your experience with us all today. And I'm so excited everyone's getting to, to, to know you. What Just to wrap up, what would you say to someone who is thinking about certifying as a, as a Helix Method mentor? What well, if they're thinking about it, I would just advise them to just lean into it and listen to those whispers. Now, sometimes, as we know, you make a decision based on based on fear, based on the past, based on past, past mistakes. But just lean into that wondering, what if, what could my life be like if I did this? And I know a lot of people have said they joined because not because they were thinking of necessarily becoming mentors, because they were thinking of doing it on the self and then when they've gone through the second time they've suddenly realized when they've dropped all those layers that yeah this is such a wonderful tool why would you not want to share it hmm. it's it is literally life-changing I mean I couldn't have even dreamt this life five you know five years ago I couldn't have dreamt this life and now stepping forward more and more into this into this coaching world it, it it feels like a stepping forward, but it also feels like a coming home as well. That's what it feels like to me, to the, you know, to the teacher and the coach within, you know, within the careers coaching, within uh, primary school teaching as well. It's just that I'm an actual teacher. I'm an actual coach. It's just all the other stuff that got in the way. So just think about what could your life be like doing this and what a wonderful gift to share. Oh, Ali, thank you so much. And huge congratulations for everything that you've achieved and all that you're in the process of creating. And I cannot wait to see what else comes comes next for you. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. If you've got any questions, you pop them below. We'll circle back and say hello to you all. Sending you all loads and loads of love. Take care. Bye.